Victor Dean here. We're going to go through a cervical and brachial plexus stretch for motocross. These are the nerves that run out of your cervical spine and upper back area and run out to your fingertips. And they innervate, control all these muscles along the way. A lot of times you can get a nerve impingement where it's snagging at some point in your shoulder or in your elbow. Okay. We're also going to stretch the muscles that are involved here, pecs, bicep, and forearm, and as well as your scaling muscles in your neck. All of these muscles are huge muscles in motocross. Scaling muscles can get tight from stress and from holding up your helmet. Right? Pecs can get tight from being pulled forward all the time. Right? Your biceps and forearms are working overtime to pull and stay with the bike. You get forearm pump, all of that. So this is a great stretch to do after your workouts in the gym. It's also a great stretch to do as part of your warm-up on race day uh, or after you get off the bike even. So what you're going to do, you can use a door, a wall, um, anything flat, the side of your trailer, you know, I, I use that at the races quite frequently. You're going to take your hand with your fingers tight together, put weight on your palm, keeping your arms straight, you want to turn your feet and hips away from your hand, then you're going to look away. You might be feeling something in this position when you get here, uh, you might feel it in your shoulder, in your bicep, in your hand, wherever is the tightest is where you're going to feel it. The next step from here is we're gently going to pull the head away from your fingertips and stretching out those nerves. You're going to hold this for 30 seconds, then you're going to oscillate back and forth 15 reps. Then you're going to hold it for 30 seconds, oscillate for 15. We're going to do that three times and then turn and do the other side. 